Hi, my name is Bennett and I'm with Noria. I'm here to tell you about the importance of proper oil sampling technique. Now I know most of you probably understand the importance of oil analysis. It provides us some feedback on a lubricant's current state of health and ultimately, hopefully, some insight on the current state of the machine itself. But I've come under the vast impression that most people don't understand why the procedure to oil sampling is so vital. Honestly, if it isn't done quite right, it can easily alter the integrity of the oil sample altogether. For example, are you using a vacuum sample device? Are you purging the oil first before you take a sample? Maybe. Well, let me ask you this. Do you even know the cleanliness rating of your oil sample bottles? If you answer no to any of these questions, there's a very good chance that you are not obtaining the quality sample you will need to achieve the quality oil analysis results you are expecting. So to obtain a quality representative oil sample, you must obtain two main objectives. One, maximizing data density. Samples should be taken in such a way that the most information is gathered per milliliter of oil possible. This will mostly depend on the oil sample location. Two, minimizing data disturbance. This is where the oil sample procedure is gonna have a profound impact. This means that the sample should be taken in such a way that the concentration of information is uniform, consistent, and unaltered by the sampling procedure. So listen up. I know this information might be overwhelming, so before you start flipping your desk over in frustration, just take a deep breath and go online to machinerylubrication.com. There you're gonna find this wealth of in-depth articles, white papers, giving you all the steps you'll need to perform oil sampling effectively. Don't worry, it's easy. So this way you will have oil analysis that will be representative of the machine itself.